Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from ExraAutomation.com and welcome to another video for Exra Automation. And today we're not going to talk anything about technology related or a new tech in automation testing or testing itself. Rather, we are going to talk about my teaching journey in Udemy and YouTube to over 200,000 plus students globally. So if you know me, I love sharing or maybe you can call as teaching what I learn. The reason why I say I don't really call myself as teaching is because I just share what I learn and I just try to format that as a course so that you can easily capitalize that to get your job done at your work. Well, as that said, in this video, we can talk about some of the achievements what I have made in Udemy and at the same time, some of the most frequently asked questions from students that I get on the course prices. Well, we'll get into that pretty quickly. So let's talk about the Udemy achievements that I have got right now. So I now have over 200,000 plus students from across 187 countries. And in fact, all these students are unique students, meaning these students might have enrolled in my other courses, like it's 200,000 students might have enrolled in my other courses, like two or three or maybe four or five. So if you see my Udemy dashboard, it shows me that I have more than 400,000 plus students who have actually enrolled in many of my courses, which is pretty cool. And I have over 25 courses in Udemy and over 15 plus more courses available as YouTube exclusive, which are not even added in Udemy yet. The reason why I have not added them yet is because there are many restrictions happening right now in Udemy. You cannot get certificate of completion. The same time you cannot ask questions and I cannot really add any content more than two hours of the course. So there are so many things happening on Udemy. So basically those things restrict me to add other few courses that I have really got. Because even though my free courses are available on YouTube, which are not just two hours or lesser, those are more than four hours. So as that said, those 15 courses are much worth it to stay in YouTube platform right now. Well, as I said, the titles that I cover have ranges of topics in Udemy, but mostly all these courses I have released are advanced topic, meaning those topics are most of them are available just in my advanced courses and few of them are not even available elsewhere online as a course format. Some of the topics that I can keep telling is like custom controls on Java and new courses like Xamarin.UI test, Core.UI test, which was released first time on the internet as a course and similarly the advanced framework development in C Sharp and even Flutter drivers kind of stuff. So some of my all time famous courses on paid are these, something like automation framework development with Selenium C Sharp, with Java, Cypress, Protractor, Playwright, and some of them are like Appium and API testing with Restrap and Specflow. So basically, yeah, these are some of the famous paid courses. And my first course that I released as a paid course was the automation framework development with Selenium C Sharp, which has really gained a lot of popularity. And some of my all time famous courses, which are available for free are these, as you can see here, the build deploy test with Jenkins 2.0, which has got almost 4,388 ratings and it has got 4.3 rating which is pretty cool and there are many other courses as you can see in here are free as well and you can see that all these courses are almost available for free in youtube as well so even if you go there in youtube you can see them these courses are available over there as well well now coming back to the question on why are these paid courses not going down to dollar 19.99 udemy marketing offer price and it was like dollar 10 before uh, like a year before I guess but now the prices are not lesser than 19 I guess well as that said or half of the courses in Udemy are paid that I have got and four courses in the paid courses are already available for free in YouTube channel as well and more titles will be added to YouTube in upcoming months or on other new platform for free soon so this is going to happen. This is already something which I'm trying to consider. I have already started putting work on that. People are working behind the scene, but those are coming pretty quickly. But yes, still the price point has not even been answered. But if you see all my courses, the advanced courses, if you have really opted for, you might have seen that almost all my courses are upgraded to the new update twice to thrice every year. Exception to few courses, but mostly all the courses are upgraded relevant to the topic of the course. 
The reason I'm saying they're relevant to the topic of the course is because I'm not trying to add some of the content in the course, like basics of C Sharp or basics of Java in the course and something which I can pull like adding the CICD with the Jenkins with Selenium C Sharp or CICD with Selenium Java, something like that. And I've seen some of the courses on the Udemy, no harm to anybody, but I'm just telling what I've seen that most of the courses cover almost top to bottom of everything that you can actually put into one place within a course that deviates the student from actually learning from the topic what they should be learning. It's very important that you need to know almost all the topics related to the automation testing on a specific tool, but not learning almost everything within a same course, which can really, really deviate a student who is going to opt for that course. For sure, I have mentioned many times in my paid courses as well as in the free courses to refer other courses so that you can gain the knowledge, but I have not really put all those content within the same course because that makes the course more polluted. Well, as that said, even my advanced courses while they release in Udemy, they actually start from three hours of initial release. And then they later start to grow to almost 13 hours of the course. And for example, the advanced framework development Selenium C Sharp or Selenium Java or even Appium for that matter, were actually started releasing as three hours of course. And now they are like 13 hours, nine hours respectively. So which covers almost all the topic that you need to get your job done for that particular framework development department, but not how you can add into the CI CD or learning the basics of C sharp or Java or learning how you can deploy the same with Selenium grid and Kubernetes or Docker and kind of stuff, because those are not the kind of topic that you really need to learn into that particular course, because I have specific course for them. They're all completely available for free. You can go ahead and watch there and they are not paid at all. So almost all these topics that I'm talking about, like Kubernetes, Docker, CI CD with Jenkins, even Team Foundation Server, those are all available for free courses. And if you really want to leverage the latest and the cutting edge of the Azure DevOps, probably that's available as a paid courses for now. But yes, you can opt over there and those are not added on that particular course. So this is what is happening behind the scene with my courses. So I've been trying to add almost all the new topics within that course, making that course almost sophisticated for you to just download the zip file and you can get your job done at your work. Well, as I said, my courses are not even available for Udemy marketing. And the reason is because almost all my courses are currently available in Udemy for business, meaning I cannot really opt in for Udemy marketing while I have my courses in Udemy for business. Well, as I said, almost all my courses are available for free if you have Udemy for business in your company, which makes all my courses to you available as free. And this is one of the important reason why I cannot really reduce the prices of my course because those are sitting under these pricing tiers. I understand that this is a most pandemic situation, but even before pandemic situation, even before COVID, I always encourage people to send me an email for the coupon code. Just drop me an email on the course that you are looking for or planning to opt. I'll reduce the course price as much I can based on the Udemy course price range. Meaning you can get the price of the course much lower than or maybe equivalent to the Udemy marketing offer price, making you to get the course more affordable. And again, there is a price to your range where I can only reduce the price until that range. If it is beyond that, yes, the before answer that I told you, restrict me to give an offer for the course on that price. Well, as that said, in a nutshell, my courses are almost affordable if you have or your company have Udemy for business plan or if you're a beginner who are gonna learn something new on the automation testing and you want to get your basics strong, you can almost find my 40 plus courses available for free in YouTube. Or if you really want to learn a bit further, you can just send me an email and I will send you most least priced discount coupon code, which you can get almost like an Udemy marketing price. So these are something which I think are the best way you can actually afford the courses that I have released in Udemy. So once again, guys, Thank you so much for making this happen, like almost 200,000 students, which is really a proud moment for me. I've been teaching this in Udemy for close to four years now, and I can see that even though my prices of the course is so-called costly, I can see 200,000 plus students enrolled in the courses, which is pretty cool. 
and once again thank you very much for understanding why the prices are so higher the course prices are gonna drop even further in upcoming days thank you